Welcome back to the 2022 World Lacrosse Women's World Championship here on ESPN Plus. Hong Kong, China, and Ireland in Pool D play here at Johnny United Stadium in Towson, Maryland. Ireland looking for a much needed victory. There's a look at head coach Sarah Walsh. Her team's coming off a victory over Spain, which was a tight contest for most of it until Ireland and Katrina Dowd able to assert themselves and pull away from Spain in the closing moments. And a look at Jennifer Marusu, the head coach of Hong Kong, China, and she's got to be happy with the way her team has performed. Again, they are outscoring opponents 27 to 3 through two games, only allowing an average of 1.5 goals a game. So a much needed win for both teams. Hong Kong, China can essentially wrap up their advancement if they win today. Ireland looking to keep their hopes alive. We are set for the opening draw and we're underway here in Unitas Stadium. As a early scrap for the ground ball will come out in favor of Ireland as Dowd able to scoop it up. Long pass up to Kerr and Kerr quickly moving into the attacking end for Ireland. Drops it off over to Morris as she'll take it behind the cage now. And Ireland, I think the key for Ireland here, we've talked about already ad nauseum how often and how lethal that Hong Kong China offense can be. You've got to control time of possession if you're Ireland. Don't give Hong Kong China too many chances. As Margaret Egan drifting towards far goal line extended, still a little behind the cage. Pass in front is tipped by the goalkeeper, Yu. And it's loose in front of the crease and it's going to be picked up by Hong Kong China partly and moved up the field. Uh, but a errant pass off the mark and on the turf is now a couple players hitting the turf and off and running again is Ireland. And a good job by Ireland to pick up any ground balls. That'll be the key too to limit limiting that time of possession for Hong Kong China is every ground ball has to be Ireland's. Morris behind the cage, almost on the end line now, inches her way back forward. Morris, pass in front, down, left on Mark, shoots and scores, Ireland strikes first. Katrina Dowd likes it. She has her first today, it's 1-0 Ireland with 13 and a half, take another look. Morris, patient, Dowd beats her mark right in front and goes near post low to beat the goalkeeper, Yu. Again, Katrina Dowd, a three-time national champion at Northwestern. Opens up the scoring here for Ireland and every possession for Ireland has to count. As we get set for the draw once more here in the first quarter early on. And the assist will go to Robin Morris. And a violation on Kerr on the draw, so it'll be Hong Kong China's first possession. We'll see how they'll respond. Lee moves up the field, pass into the attacking end, is high and out of bounds, back to Ireland. Little shaky for Hong Kong China to start. Here's Somerville, local product played High school lacrosse at Notre Dame Prep in Timonium, Maryland, just a few minutes down the road. And now trapped is Sonia Egan, and she loses it, taken away by save, but now turn it back over to Ireland. Egan, pass up to Kerr, sends it behind. Morris can't look it in, and it rolls out of bounds. So a little bit of sloppy play early on from both sides. Wu up the field. Cut off by Morris and has to throw back to Yu. Brings it to the near side to Chak. Chak turns on the Jets and gets into the attacking end. Drops it off near side over to Yu. Michelle Yu, the leading point getter right now. Three members of this Hong Kong China team have five goals through the first two games. Yu trying to drive, ball comes out. They're gonna call a foul on Skylar Neal. And a free position coming for Michelle Yu. Gavin, the goalkeeper for 
Ireland, as Yu goes forward, Yu in front, Yu shoots, it's wide. Backed up by Lamb. Lamb brings it around the near side. Backs up. Take another look in the lower left. You shot just wide. Didn't look like anyone got a hand on her stick, just held onto it for a second too long. But here's a shot, a bouncer and a goal as Hong Kong China responds with Lee. We're knotted up at one with just over 10 minutes ago in the first. Hong Kong China's got their first. And it's Daphne Lee on the goal. Take another look. Great individual effort marked one on one with Rachel Ward. Gets a screen and then from distance able to bounce it past Gavin. A great shot over the stick of Margaret Egan. And yes, we, we mentioned that five players for Hong Kong China, each with five goals, but they've got scoring all the way throughout this lineup. And you need it if you're gonna outscore opponents 27 to three. It's not gonna be just two players. We get set for the draw. Now tied up all at one. Ball on the ground, batted around and pulled in by Vanessa Yu. Yu moving forward down the near side, wants to keep it herself and is turned away by Neil. Now passing around, high pass, but able to be cleaned up by Wong. Wong spinning, trying to drive, fires a shot and scores through two defenders. Oh my goodness. Michelle Wong with, or Maya Wong, excuse me, with authority through a double team. Puts Hong Kong China up two. Take another look. A high pass comes out to Wong. And then she just puts her head down, says spin move on Kerr, drives right in, shoots between Kerr and Egan and buries it. And not only is that a great goal, that's great awareness, doesn't get called for a dangerous shot, dangerous follow through as she had two defenders on either side of her. And Hong Kong China puts two goals back to back to take the lead from Ireland. Eight and a half to go in the first. Wong and Kerr on the draw. Wong picks it out of the sky. After some early jitters from Hong Kong, China, they look to be getting into the rhythm now. Far side is Lamb, sends behind the Yu. Yu wrapping around, shoots low, saved by Gavin. And then a crease violation on Ireland, as I believe that was Somerville on the ground ball, ran into the crease before she could get rid of it. So Hong Kong, China with another opportunity now Start from far goal line extended. It's Lamb with it in her stick. Pass to you on the doorstep. Shoots turned away again by Gavin. Shot backed up by Hong Kong China. Boy. Take another look in the lower left of your screen. Quick passing from Hong Kong, China, and Gavin right on the money. Might have actually just forced the angle wide, but here's a drive, a shot, another save by Gavin. Gavin's been huge so far for Ireland early, and they'll need it. You always say it about goalkeepers in any sport. They need to make all the saves they should make and make some of the saves they shouldn't make if you want to give them a chance. Another look in your lower left, Gavin getting her shoulder on it. Now Hong Kong, China, lethal in their ride, able to take the ball away, and here's Yu bringing it up. Ducks around Sonia Egan, and into the attacking end is Hong Kong, China. Tsai, far goal line extended against Somerville, takes it behind. Near side now is Lamb as they'll slow it down. Near goal line extended, pass up top to Wong and they work it back to Vanessa Yu up top. Yu starts forward, 
has a lane, cut off. Job by Ireland's defense to close the gap there and slide. Hoy behind, pass to the far side. Inching forward again is you. You driving, drops it off. Pass in front, not caught by Sai, and it's a pickup by Sonia Egan for Ireland, and here comes Ireland on the attack. Bouncer to Morris, can't pick it up, it's loose. They foul on Morris. And we'll turn it over to Hong Kong, China. We're gonna take a water break, as has become the custom here over the course of play here in Towson. It has been a string of hot days with the feel of about 95 degrees on average the last few days, very humid as well. So the team's been taking a water break about halfway through each quarter. The weather has been, we can talk about the play all we want. The weather has also been a story. A couple of delays last night and the day before due to lightning, as is the case usually in summer in Maryland. So far, what we've seen, Ireland got off to a quick start, and I mean a quick start, getting a quick goal from Dow, but then ever since, Hong Kong China cleaning up their passing and has been able to really dismantle any Ireland transition attack or anything with their ride, and Hong Kong China very deliberate on the offensive side, finding great individual efforts and great passing as well to open up some goals, but at the same time, Ireland Getting a good lift from Emily Gavin right now, kind of stabilizing the score. Could very easily be 3-1, 4-1 right now, Hong Kong, China. If it's not for Gavin between the pipes or Ireland, forcing some shots wide, getting her body on a couple more. But if you're Ireland, that's only gonna hold out for so long. It's hard to ask a goalie to face this high powered of an offense and keep coming up time and time again. And right now it seems like what we're seeing from Hong Kong, China, they're gonna work with Hugh at the top and just let her facilitate almost like a point guard in basketball, whether it's from behind the cage or up top. She will get the touch to start off their attack. So again, it'll be Hong Kong, China ball. As we come out of this water break, 5.15 to go, Hong Kong, China leads two to one. And certainly if you're Ireland, you gotta be happy with the score right now, it's not running away from you yet, but you got to clean up your act a little bit in transition. Maybe a lazy pass there a moment ago from Egan to Morris. Kind of a one-hander, and Morris not able to look it in as it was bouncing short of her. Teams retake the field. Looks like Wu will be the one to pick up the ball just inside the restraining line for Hong Kong, China. We're back underway. Wu up the near sideline. Settles down and will drop it off to Hoy and lost it out of bounds, didn't look it in. Now if you're Ireland in this transition, your last two transition attempts have been turned over by Hong Kong China, so you gotta be patient. I know you wanna try to go blow, blow for blow for Hong Kong China, but it doesn't mean force anything. Gavin gets it back on the near side or inside her 11 meter fan, in front of her net, she'll walk it up. Take as much real estate as she's able. Throws over to the far sideline. Somerville, trying to avoid defenders, hits the brakes, cuts back to the outside. Kylie, throws behind. Morris, had the assist on the Dow goal. Dow trying to shake loose on that near sideline, trying to run the same play. Jack sticking with her. Hitting the four minute mark now, Morris behind the goal, near goal line extended side. Throw near side to Sonia Egan. Ireland looks for a way to knock things back up. Ward driving the far side. Trying to cut in front, she's brought down from behind by Wong. And a free position coming for Rachel Ward. Let's go, 
Ward goes forward, shoots, saved. Yu gets her leg on it and snuffs out the free position opportunity for Ireland. Lower left-hand corner, another look. Ward shooting low, and Yu read it all the way and was able to drop down and make the save. Hong Kong China rallying now on the offensive end. Up top, Sai. Versus back over to Wong. Wong driving down the middle, shoot, scores! It's 3-1, Hong Kong China starting to assert themselves on the lead as Wong drives down the middle for the goal. One more look at the Wong goal. Again, attacking Sonia Egan, makes a nice cut to her left, fakes a pass, and then shoots far post. Sees Sonia Egan leaning, and then maybe freezes the defender in Heisler with the fake pass, and then Wong able to bury it on the far side. And fortunately also for Ireland, Kerr had gone down there and was slow to her feet, but she is up. So 2.38 to go. Hong Kong China with a two goal lead. Ward will take the draw now for Ireland as they make the change away from Kerr. Now a violation against Ireland will give Hong Kong China the ball in. Sarah Walsh and her staff, none too happy. Gives Hong Kong China one of those extra possessions. Here's Yu wrapping around the near side, turned away by Somerville. Yu, pass up top. Boy looking to drive, throws back behind the net to see. Now a wraparound attempt from Lamb. Lamb, ball pops out, and that is going to be a foul against Eisler coming down hard on the stick of Lamb. Far goal line extended, Lamb back to the net. 145 to go. You. Back over to Lamb. Pass over the head and dribbles out to midfield right into the stick of Dowd. Dowd, some fancy footwork and turns for the attacking end. Dowd will peel off into the far corner with Chuck right on her hip. Stops at far goal line extended and wants to settle things down. Your Ireland maybe look for just one good shot here. Try to wind some clock down. Don't give an extra possession to Hong Kong China. You need a goal if you're Ireland. Dowd will stand with it behind the net. Ireland's offense loading up at the top of the fan. Dowd starts forward now, cuts, spins back, loses her defender, cuts back near side. Dowd in front, turns, jump shot, and a goal! Katrina Dowd, goodness! Pulls Ireland within one, with under a minute to go in the first. And now, Yona Chalk on the ground. But what an effort from Katrina Dowd. Says to jump on my back, let me ISO and do it myself. Good sportsmanship there from Dowd to check on her defender. Take another look. Dowd goes. Left, spins back, cuts back, and then a jump shot right over Chalk. Almost fading away from the goal and buries it. She's got both Ireland goals. This one unassisted, 41 seconds to go. That's huge for Ireland. Ball goes towards the Hong Kong China end, picked up by Dowd. Ireland finds some more magic late here. In the first quarter to knock things back up. Kerr spins, has space in front, shoots, saved by you. Yu. 
Yu behind her crease. Under 20 to go here in the first. Take another look here in the lower left curve with space down the middle. Yu able to read it, stick side in it. Hong Kong, China content to let the quarter expire. Ireland sticking close to Hong Kong, China by way of two Katrina Dowd goals. 3-2 Hong Kong, China leads here in the 2022 Women's World Lacrosse Championship on ESPN+. Welcome back to the 2022 World Lacrosse Women's World Championship. After one quarter of play, Hong Kong China leads Ireland 3 to 2 here in Pool D play. And you look at the women the growth of the Women's World Championship started with just six teams back in 1982 and you see the progression as this sport has grown internationally here at 2022. It was supposed to be a 30 team field. Unfortunately, Uganda having to uh, withdraw days before the tournament but 29 teams still here a huge growth from its beginnings and you're seeing the sport being played all over the world growing greatly in asia in europe as well as well as south america with argentina making their debut in the world championships this year as this sport starting to take hold worldwide right now ireland and hong kong china fighting for a Pool D spot, New Zealand is undefeated, as is Hong Kong, China. The top two teams advance, and right now, Hong Kong, China with a must-win game. Ireland, if they lose this one, it is gonna be tough sledding to try to get back. As you look at that goal differential, Hong Kong, China, one of the top 10 scoring teams in this tournament, outscoring their opponents 27 to three over their two games. And right now, if you're Ireland, you gotta be happy but not satisfied that you're over the average that Hong Kong China usually allows. We'll see how Hong Kong China responds as a drive here from Yu turned away. 
by Dowd, who has both Ireland goals. You up top again. Drives down the near side, picked up by Neal. Lamb sends it back up top to you. Michelle Yu now, inches forward, trying to drive the far side, fires a shot wide. It'll stay with Hong Kong China. On the restart now, pass to the near side, Vanessa Yu. Looked like she wanted to go back to Hoy. Hoy wasn't looking at her. Yu brings it up top, works against Somerville, cuts to her right, looking to drive, shoots and scores! <laughs> Vanessa Yu puts Hong Kong China up by two, four to two with 13, 15 to go in the second, another look. Isolating against Somerville, cuts to her right, and again, moving away from the goal, Yu able to bury it far post. We've seen that a couple of times now from Hong Kong, China, very comfortable shooting back across their body, going to that far side. Yu re-extends the lead to two for Hong Kong, China. Get set for the draw. Goal was unassisted. And we'll redo the draw. That is Yu's first of the day. Ward and Wong to take the draw. Ward had it, stick check, and they are going to call it a foul there on Vanessa Yu as she came in. And then Ireland looking for a delay of game as Yu slapped the ball back down the field. They won't get it, though. They will pull Wong back behind. Now back on the restart on the far side is Neil bringing it up the field for Ireland. Ireland respond. Morris. Beneath far goal line extended. They go back to the Dowd well. It's paid off twice. Margaret Egan drifting up top. Fakes, tries to drive, quickly turned away by Wong. Pass is tipped, but caught by Ward. Ward in on goal, shoots and a huge save. Yu moving to her right to guard the corner of the goal. Turns away Ward. Hong Kong China in transition with Tse. And now a takeaway by Ireland jumping the pass was Neil. On the restart, saw another look at that goal, or that save from you. Far side into the corner is Morris. Ten and a half to go in the second. Morris throws back behind the Margaret Egan behind the net. Starts inching around the near side. Takes it to the far side now, looks things over. Tries to cut in front, has space, shoots low. It's wide, it'll stay with Ireland. Tough shot between two defenders. Morris on the restart, under 10 to go. Pass in front, Dowd by herself, touch shot, it's wide. Dowd's done a good job beating defenders off the ball. Take another look. Morris, great vision to find Dowd. And actually, Dowd fouled on the shot. Pushed down from behind, she'll get a free position. So Dowd looks in at you, shaded to the right. 
Lines up, steps into it, shoots, it's wide. Stays with Ireland as we approach nine minutes. Egan behind the net. Pass in front, Kerr shoots and scores! Ireland back within one. It's 4-3 with 9.02 to go in the second. Another look, great vision once more from Morris or from Egan. Pass right in front, Kerr on the doorstep. Going near side this time on you. Was able to hold the ball for a second as she got you to commit early and commit first and was able to shoot it where she wasn't. So Kerr with her first goal of the game. Makes it 4-3. As Ireland so far able to go blow for blow with Hong Kong China. Wong and Ward to take the draw. Balls up, comes down. Scrap forward as it rolls towards the sideline. Now push back towards midfield. C had it. Go to Hong Kong, China. C had it, was able to shuffle it over to Lee. Near side now, Chalk throws up to Say. Works around Morris to get it in and a pass into the far side. Boy. Lamb wraps around the far side, looking, cuts back, far shoulder, shoots into the side of the net. Tough angle. Spinning away from the net and shooting in the process. It's Gavin. Walks it slowly up, Ireland will look to tie things up. Next whistle will most likely have a water break. Working up the field for Ireland is Heisler at midfield. Now throws back over to Somerville on the far side. Near side, Neal again. Two defenders coming. Gets into the attacking end, looks to get rid of it, wants to get rid of it. We had offsides just now on Hong Kong, China, and we will have our water break. Six and a half minutes to go. Hong Kong, China leads Ireland here in the second quarter, four to three. And what's been working for both teams, starting with Hong Kong, China, it's been individual efforts time and time again so far, at least the last three goals for Hong Kong, China. They've just been able to isolate at the top of the arc and just drive down against defenders and beat around them. And what we're seeing, too, is just really great shot placement. A couple of times fading away, shooting across their body to the far post. And they've just been able to bury it. And sometimes if you're a goalie, you maybe don't expect a shooter to shoot across their body and go to that far post. And it's been low, too, a few of them. And so Gavin just has to get a better read on where they're shooting. And then for Ireland, uh, Katrina Dowd, she's, she's been working. And what we're seeing now, Hong Kong China may be committing a little bit more of a face guard to her as she's been able to beat her defender off the ball and in an ISO situation to get a goal. They're able to uh, work into Kerr for that third goal. And I think that's what you're going to need more of, some more off-ball screens for Ireland to try to open things up. Morris and Egan doing a good job distributing from behind the cage and to find both Dowd and Kerr on the doorstep. And if you're Ireland now on those catch and shoot opportunities, you've got to be hitting the net. Make you work for it, but maybe hold that ball a second longer. That's how Kerr was able to score her goal. Made you commit early. Again, this game extremely important for Ireland. If Hong Kong China can win today, they're virtually through. If Ireland can pull off the win, it would set up a huge game for Hong Kong China next because they would play undefeated New Zealand to wrap up pool play and then it's a toss up there and Ireland would just have to pull out the win against Austria who is still in search of their first win and if Ireland loses 
which they can't afford to do, they're out. If Hong Kong China can hold on and win, then it's New Zealand and Hong Kong China advancing through Pool D. And honestly, just because you win if you're Ireland doesn't necessarily mean you're through. You'd have to take care of business against Austria as well and hope that New Zealand takes care of Hong Kong China. Right now, if you're Ireland, you're sitting in a good spot, trailing just by one. This is, more, this is already the most goals Hong Kong China surrendered in this tournament so far. It's back underway, Margaret Egan on the far side. Our goal line extended, we'll give it back to Morris behind the net. A lot of off ball movement at the top, trying to get screens going, working for Kerr and Dowd. Now you have Sonia Egan backing up towards the far sideline away from the ball. Here's Margaret Egan cutting in front, chased away, throws a pass with Morris behind the net, now wraps around the far side. Morris throws it back up top to Sonia Egan. Ward will slow things down and reset up top. Starts to her right, drives the near side. And an illegal screen. Looks like it was called on Sonia Egan as she had her hands up off ball. If you're Ireland, that's what you can't afford to do is give away possessions. Every possession so precious against Hong Kong China. On the restart now. Say. Throw into the far side. Boy. Being shadowed by Neil. Far goal line extended as Hoy works her way behind the net. And a good jump by Somerville to try to knock the ball away from Lamb. Lamb able to come away with it. And now Ireland has to scramble to get back into position. Hoy, near goal line extended, back to the net. Throw near side over to Hartley. Centered to see. Wong. Trying to work against Heisler. Good job by Heisler to stand strong. Approaching four minutes to go. Hoy now on the near side. Starts forward. Reverses. Ball not caught by C. Able to pick it up. No danger. Hoy again up top. Works to the far side. Neil wanted to push her near side. Whistle comes in. A three second call against the Ireland defense. Heisler standing with her hands on her hips inside the fan. Looks like they called it. Not sure who they called it on. And now there's gonna be a conversation between the officials. Heisler making an argument, Kerr making an argument. The ball goes into the stick of Hoy. Looks like the call was against Kerr. So a big moment now here for the goalkeeper, Gavin. Hoy goes forward, shoots low, scores! A worm burner off the stick of Hoy. Makes it 5-3 Hong Kong China with just over three minutes to go. Free position, look again, one bounce. And it comes up beating Gavin inside post. Gavin just guessed wrong. Thought it, she thought it was going stick side it looked like. And Hoy puts another in the back of the net for Hong Kong China. That is her first of the day. Free position goal again for Hoy off the three second call against Ireland. So back to back mistakes for Ireland and the Hong Kong China capitalizes. First it was the moving screen 
on Sonia Egan to turn the ball over and then a three second call against Kerr to give Hong Kong China the free position. And now here off the draw quickly up the field. Yu takes a bump from Kerr. Side, near side, drifting to her left. Moves it near goal line, extended to Hartley. Pass back up top. Drive, a shot, saved by Gavin. Turns Wong away, Neil on the ground ball. Minute and a half to go now. Eisler, throw near side to Somerville. Neal, pass up to Fidel. Morris now behind, approaching one minute to go in the quarter. Take another look at that Gavin save, lower left. Gavin getting the shaft of her stick on it, pops it up. And then Neal flying in for the ground ball and Ireland trying to get one back here, draw within one. Fidel reverses back to Egan. Margaret Egan wraps around the far side. Dow working off ball, trying to shake loose. Egan throws a fake, can't get through. Egan again, 37 seconds. He'll give it to Ward. Ward fakes a spin, cut, pass space, shoots low and scores five hole. The Warden pulls Ireland back within one, five, four. Rachel Ward's got her first today. 24 seconds to go, take another look. A little bit of a fake spin there from Ward, shakes loose of her defender and then skips it past you. Big goal for Ireland before the end of the half. Ward unassisted. And right now, if you're Ireland, yes, this is a great goal before the halftime break. You stay within one. Now, you can't give up one here quickly to Hong Kong, China, but Eventually, you can't just tread water against this team. You're going to have to battle back and string a run together. If you want to try to overtake them and come out with a very crucial win. Getting set is Kerr and Wong for the draw. Ball's up. Long pulls it out of the sky. Long. High pass over the head of Lamb, and it turns over with 14 seconds to Ireland. Ooh, don't want to mistake in your end. Almost picked off. Here's Heisler, 10 seconds. And I don't think Ireland's going to have anything here late as a high pass is off the mark and rolling, and we are headed to halftime. 5-4 after one half of play. Hong Kong, China leading Ireland in Pool D play. You're watching the 2022 World Lacrosse Women's Championship here on ESPN. Do you know, do you know? I seen it all before. Let's go. Tiger. Just a shot for the bend and knee. My main man, Money the King. There ain't nothing I ain't seen. Okay, old school. Have you seen someone ball like John Morant? No, you can't. You've never seen anyone like a thing. The point got Queen, Sky, or Chloe Kim. Do you know there's never been anyone else like them? Look, OG, no disrespect. I know you think you've seen everything, but you ain't seen nothing yet. Checkmate. <laughs>
Every player knows the skills you learn on the field can be the foundation for anything you choose to do in life. Thank you for the sweat, the tears, the pride. And for the celebration we share. When I reach for a stick, it's like I'm shaking hands with history. Thank you for connecting me to a greater community. It's more than a game to me. It's a gift to be a positive force in young athletes' lives. And I'm thankful I can help the next generation develop a love for the sport. When I was his age, those moments on the field meant everything. Thank you for giving us a way to stay connected, even as they get older. We're growing beyond goals on the field. And our futures are united. Would you give me the opportunity to fuel aspirations and to ignite potential. So thank you, lacrosse. For inspiring me to be me. We are better, safer, and wiser together. And we're building a stronger future for everyone. Four at halftime, Hong Kong, China leading Ireland. Highlights from the first half coming up on the other side of this break here on ESPN.
Welcome back to the 2022 World Lacrosse Women's Championship here on ESPN. Hong Kong, China leading Ireland 5-4 at the break. And again, this game in Pool D, absolutely crucial. My name's Ben Rosenbaum here at Johnny United Stadium in Towson, Maryland. And Pool D play starting to wind down. We have one more day following today of Pool D play. And Hong Kong, China sitting undefeated right now at 2-0. New Zealand sits at 3-0. New Zealand virtually has advanced into the championship bracket. Now, if you're Ireland at 1-1, one you need to win this game and you need to win your next game if you want a chance to advance. So right now, Ireland sitting pretty. They've already scored more goals than any team has scored against Hong Kong, China, but they need a little bit more work to do if they want a chance to win this game. If they don't win today, they're out. It would be almost impossible for Ireland to advance if they don't pick up the win today. If you're Hong Kong, China, you can essentially wrap it up and say you're going to advance because your goal differential, if you end up losing to New Zealand tomorrow, you're through. Again, they've outscored opponents 27 to 3 entering play today. It's going to be hard for Ireland to catch them on a goal differential if Hong Kong China should lose to New Zealand and Ireland beat uh, Spain in their next game. So, again, Hong Kong China leading 5 4 at the half. Let's take a look how the first half unfolded, starting with Ireland. Katrina Dowd, it's been the Northwestern Wildcat. First, a pass from Morris cutting in front and the goal, and then her second goal might be one of the prettiest you'll ever see. Working the ankles of her defender, cuts around near sides, posterized as she jumps and dunks it home against the goalkeeper, Yu. But then for Hong Kong, China, it's been Maya Wong driving ISO against her, splits through two defenders, shoots and scores far post. And then on her second goal, a nice fake to her left, fake a pass, and hits it far post again. So it's been Dowd versus Wong essentially in this first half. Take a look at your stats. Pretty even throughout. Both teams, eight shots on goal. The big difference, as you see, the ground balls and the draw controls. We've talked about how valuable extra possessions are. Hong Kong, China getting those early draw controls, getting themselves early possessions. But Ireland, if there's been a ground ball, they've been flying to it. They know they can't give Hong Kong, China extra possession after extra possession. If you do that, they're going to put the ball in the back of the net and they're going to be in a bad spot. Turnovers, we saw some sloppy passing in that first quarter. Both teams sending passes high or not looking it through. It's going to be a battle here in the second half. You're watching the 2022 World Lacrosse Women's World Championship here on ESPN. We want the gold medal. We've been dreaming of it our entire lives. But this summer, we want more. We have an opportunity you know together to change the sport and women's athletics for the better. The eyes of the lacrosse community will be on us. Never has this sport been more popular. Never has this platform been bigger. So what's this about? A team of talented women with a shared goal. Inspiring a new generation, one whose identity is a sense of pride and not a limitation. Relentlessly pursuing equity in our sport and beyond, we want the greatness of all women's athletes to shine. The world will be watching Let's put on a show. This is more than a medal. Are you with us? Fasten your seatbelt. The game you've always loved just found a new gear. Introducing World Lacrosse Sixes. <laughs> it's speed and scoring. Tempo and transition. Athleticism and action. It's big time energy packed onto a smaller playing surface. It's the game you've always loved. Brought to you at warp speed. It's lacrosse on the Autobahn. Don't flick. This is World Lacrosse Sixes.
You're watching the 2022 World Lacrosse Women's World Championship on ESPN, coming to you from the campus of Towson University here at Johnny United Stadium as we get set for the start of the second half. Hong Kong China leads Ireland 5-4 in a crucial Pool D matchup as Hong Kong China looks to stay perfect and Ireland looks to keep their championship hopes alive as we're set for the second half. Ward and Wong to take the draw. Ball is up, it's loose, and it's picked up by Hong Kong China Yu. Vanessa Yu flying up the field. Looks to work quickly, shot, big save by Gavin to start off denying Michelle Yu. And a yellow card against Michelle Wu for the dangerous play on the follow through. You saw Somerville a second ago tapping the top of her head. Hong Kong China came in quickly trying to get a quick goal and good job by Somerville to stand in front and take the contact from the stick. So Ireland the other way and they are a woman up now. Eisler sends it to Morris. Morris taking in the defense from behind. Throws it to Ward. Ward with a gold. Drops it off to Dowd, who has two. Dowd works from the near side. Gets around her defender. Shoots high over a double team. Ward looking for a foul. Slow to her feet is Vicky Say, favoring that left leg a little bit. Ball will stay with Ireland. And it looks like it will result in a free position for Dowd. Say still trying to walk off a little gimpy there. And No move to the bench. Dowd, big free position from the top, looking in. Steps into one, shoots and rings it off the post. Comes out to Hong Kong, China. Ball down, aggressive ride from Ireland, and they get it back. Kerr. Looks to work quickly, Ireland with numbers. Egan in on goal, bumped. Ball's out, they're gonna call a foul on Hong Kong, China. They sandwiched Margaret Egan. We'll get a restart, far goal line extended. Great job by Ireland in the ride to get the ball back. Margaret Egan pass up top to Sonia Egan. And then a pass I think intended for Morris was just miscommunicated as Morris was cutting and the pass goes far. And then Kerr whistled for the foul. As Say made her way up the field, Say looks like walked off that limb. Say stumbles as the ref gets her into position. Throws it away across the field. To Wu. Wu circling. Looks back and throws over to Chalk. He's had the tough assignment of marking Dowd. Yu. In on goal, driving, shoot. Dick checked from behind and comes out, but Yu picks up her own ground ball. Dumps off to Vanessa Yu. Hoy drives the near side. Heels out and turned away by Heisler. Yu driving, stops, throws down low to Lamb in a whistle against Margaret Egan away from the ball, and they'll give the ball over to Michelle Yu now. 
Yu goes forward, throws behind the Lamb. Lamb trying to wrap around the far side. Somerville escorts her away from the goal. Lamb puts her head down, trying to drive. Knocked down from behind. It's going to be a trip on Ward. Somerville looks like she got a good, clean check-in, but then Ward comes in late. And actually, they're going to put it against Somerville. Free position coming here for Lamb. Lamb shoots into the stick of Gavin. Gavin almost accidentally punted that into her own goal. Wasn't sure where it was at her feet, but a big save from the Irish goalkeeper. Another look in your lower left. Lamb just steps in and Gavin able to get her body on it. Somerville into the attacking end. Morris far goal line extended and takes it behind. 5-4 our score here with just over 10 and a half to go in the third quarter. Near side is Ward. Dowd. Inching to her right. They isolate. They give her the room. Dowd stops, spins back to her left, and good slide there by Wu to come in and help chalk out on the defense of Ward. Or excuse me, of Dowd. Margaret Egan. Lost it, gets it right back. Ireland loading up on the far side. Pass in front. Shot and a goal! It's Ward! We're tied at five! Ward sniping the top corner. Stick side high. Take another look. Ward, again, they love this. They do this load up on the far side away from the ball and just get enough traffic to spring open a shooter. And you're going to see Ward come flying in and then just oh, bangs it in off the post, far side, moving away. And a crucial goal for Ireland to tie things up at five. Second goal of the day for Ward. Under nine minutes now as Kerr and Wong get set for the draw. Ball is up. Neil. And we have a yellow card coming out. Neil at first was upset because she had beaten the defender, but it is going to be a yellow card against Wong for the slash. So another woman up opportunity now for Ireland. They came up empty the first time. And it's a big card against Wong. Ireland as Dowd looks back and talks things over with her bench as she just backpedaled towards the goal. Big moment here for both teams. Kerr sends it near side the ward. Back over to Egan. Now inside. Kerr spins, shoots. Ireland has the lead. 6-5 Ireland on the woman up opportunity. Kerr with her second. And we'll have a water break on top of it. So going into this water break, Ireland with the momentum. Back to back goals gives them the lead. They haven't led since the opening goal where they were up 1-0. And you're getting your big time players to step up here. So Kerr again on a huge goal, puts Ireland back up, and how will Hong Kong China respond? Take another look at our standings. Ireland looking up at New Zealand and Hong Kong China. If Ireland 
is able to pull off the win. They move to two and one. And what is looming large is the fact that Hong Kong China has a game against New Zealand still to play. So that would set up an interesting situation. Should Hong Kong China lose that game, they'd obviously be two and two. If Ireland could pull off their win, they would be three and one and they would advance. Now, if Hong Kong China were to lose or to, were to lose again to New Zealand and Ireland lose, Hong Kong China would advance on goal differential. Again, that massive goal differential for Hong Kong China, unless Ireland were able to blow out Austria and make things interesting. Then you get into your count and goal situation. But if Hong Kong China wins today, they're through. If Ireland were to win today, or were to lose today, it would be almost impossible for them to advance. Again, you could get into a goal differential situation should Hong Kong China lose to New Zealand and Ireland blow out Austria, but you can't count on that. You want to just win. You want to win games. The penalty against Wong was a non-releasable, so she is going to stay out for the remainder of the penalty despite the goal from Kerr. And if you're Ireland, you got to score as many as you can with her on the sideline. We get set for the draw. Kerr has the go-ahead goal right now for Ireland. We'll take the draw for Ireland, and that is, I believe, Lee for, can't quite make out the jersey number. It was Lee, and it is a ground ball for Vanessa Yu. Lost it, though, picked up by Dowd, and she's off and running. Great stick work by Dowd. Law back to Margaret Egan, hits the brakes and takes it in. Vanessa Yu almost with a back check. Again, Ireland moving up right now. Morris near goal line extended. Throws behind to Fidel. Here's Morris. Margaret Egan, inching around the near side. Pass in front, jump shot off the post, but a foul called. Morris was the shooter. Hit the post flush in a free position coming now for Morris of Ireland. She'll be straight in looking at you. Pass down low, Egan battling, shoots, it's wide. It will stay with Ireland, a diving attempt by Yu. And now she's out of the crease. Pass is tipped and Hong Kong China dodges a major bullet. You applaud the effort by Yu on that dive, but two Ireland players had her beat and Ireland tried to work quickly to get an empty net goal, but the pass was tipped and Hong Kong China able to pick it up as they scrambled with their goalie out of the crease and a great job by the defense, also playing a woman down at that moment. But now we're back to even Chalk, flies down the middle, dumped off the pass on the doorstep, shoots and scores, we're tied again. It's Lamb, 6-6. Great job by Chalk to just sprint down the field, drew the defense in and they lost sight of Lamb and Lamb finishes to knock things up at six is Hong Kong China wasn't gonna go down quietly. Big goal from Lam, who was the point leader for Hong Kong China entering play today at eight points. Under five minutes to go. Here in the third, we've got a good one cooking here inside Johnny United Stadium. Ball knocked around on the turf. 
Hold called on Hong Kong, China. Give it to Ireland. These two teams knowing how crucial this game is, exchanging blows back and forth. Kerr waiting for the go ahead as officials getting everyone situated. Pass to Ward and she'll bring it into the attacking end. Throw far side to Fidel. Morris. Near goal line extended. Morris, being patient. Flip to Dowd. Dowd behind the net. And a foul against, or a call against Shock. Not sure what they got her for. They said she stepped in the crease. Dowd. She's allowed to go into the crease. Not sure what the stop is for Dowd. Backhanded shot. Might have rung off the post and then you smothered it. Interesting shot selection. Tough shot angle and a backhanded shot at that from Dowd trying to catch you napping. It's going to be a tough shot no matter who you are. You slings it up the field, caught, but picked off now by Morris. Egan. Tied at six, getting into the late stages of the third quarter. Margaret Egan standing. Ireland's done a good job of slowing the pace down, and that's what we suspected they would do against Hong Kong China, trying to limit the amount of time Hong Kong China has with the ball. Is you can't score if you don't have the ball, and right now Ireland in possession of it. Morris walks it near side. And a whistle away from the ball. It's gonna be a hold on Hong Kong China. I believe it's on Daphne Lee. We're gonna have a free position now for Margaret Egan. It was against Lee. Egan looks in, charges forward, cuts back out. Morris now behind. Morris behind or around the screen. In on goal, shoots, bounces a high shot off the crossbar. Ground ball loose, Morris has it in her stick. Battling about three defenders for it. Now Spins throws back. A push called on Hong Kong China, so a dangerous pass stays with Ireland. And again, Ye Cheng Yu coming out, way out of her crease. She's playing dangerously. Take another look on that shot in your lower left. You saw Morris just a high bouncer rings off the crossbar. Egan behind. Pass in front, touch shot, Kerr can't finish. Ground ball by Morris. Margaret Egan, near goal line extended now. And a whistle, there's collision inside the 11 meter. Ward on the ground and Lee on the ground and this is a free position now for Ward. 30 seconds to go. In the third. Pass on the doorstep. Kerr shoots, scores! Kerr puts Ireland back up seven to six. Sarah Walsh likes it. Take another look. Ward off the free position. Kerr, good job reeling in a high pass and take a little stick flip on the Selly as she beats you. 
And again, it looks like she got you to commit, maybe going far side early as you dove back across to the near post. 7-6 our score. Ireland on top. That is a hat trick now for Cleo Kerr. She'll take the draw. Wong in there for Hong Kong, China. Kerr with a big draw control in the late stages. Does Ireland have one more before the quarter break? Egan. And now you're seeing Hong Kong, China getting a little too aggressive. Handful of fouls back to back. They have two yellow cards against them already as a team. They've surrendered a handful of free positions in the late stages of this quarter. 15 seconds. Pass, down, in front, jump shot, goal! 8-6 Ireland. Katrina Dowd with a hat trick now. Another look off the restart. Egan a lob to Dowd and ignores the contact and finishes. Katrina Dowd with three defenders draped around her. Nine seconds to go in the third. Katrina Dowd, wealth of experience with this Irish national team. She actually won a gold medal with USA in 2013 and earned all world honors. Her grandparents hail from Ireland and that's what brings her to this Irish team. Kerr, quickly up to Dowd with five seconds. And there will be no more scoring as the horn sounds, but Ireland piles two in late to give themselves a two-goal lead headed into the final frame. Ireland eight, Hong Kong, China six, one frame to go. You're watching the 2002 World Lacrosse Women's World Championship here on ESPN.
Welcome back to the 2022 World Lacrosse Women's Championship presented by ESPN. Hong Kong, China trailing Ireland 8-6 as we prepare for the final frame of this game. And again, that's a huge score right now. We've been talking about it all game. Ireland needs to win this game if they want to stay alive. Hong Kong, China looking to solidify their path to the championship bracket. Hong Kong, China would stay undefeated and that would basically put them through with New Zealand. And Hong Kong, China has that game against New Zealand looming. So that's a huge one too to keep your eyes on. But if Ireland loses today, it would be very tough to advance. And right now, Team Ireland sitting pretty, but we all know this Hong Kong China team can score and score often and quickly. Big draw to start things off here in the fourth. Long and Kerr. Both teams getting set. Wong picks it out of the sky. Moves up quickly. Wong loses it. And a push called on Ireland. I believe it was Heisler or Neal. Wong slowly to her feet. Wong, one of a handful of players for Hong Kong China to have played NCAA lacrosse, played her college lacrosse at Cal. The Yu sisters, Vanessa Yu, the captain for Yale. Michelle Yu at Dartmouth, and Sai plays at Stanford. Wong in on goal, shoots and scores, bangs it off the post. Hong Kong, China strikes quickly, 8-7. They cut it to one. Another look near far post over the shoulder of Gavin. Gavin read it right, was just a second late to the ball. And if you're Ireland, and again, I don't know if you've heard me say this yet, but this is a very important game for Ireland. You can't be giving away free positions like that. Hong Kong, China will make you pay. Kerr and Wong, again for the draw. Ball is up. Knocked to the turf. Yu comes away with it. Vanessa Yu turning on the Jets. Neil and Egan escort her to the far side. Vanessa Yu brings it around the near side. Wraps around, looks for space. Low shot and they were tied just like that. Don't blink, Hong Kong China can fill it up. It's 8-8 with 13 minutes to go. Huge goal from Vanessa Yu. Does it herself, wraps around against Neil. Five hole and a goal and we're tied. And that's what's so impressive about this Hong Kong China team. Not only that they can score and they can score at a high volume, they place their shots better than anybody, as well as anybody. They can bang it off the post, they can shoot it low and sneak it in the corner, they can dunk it in five hole. If you're a goalie, you gotta be ready to move because they are a precise shooting team. Vanessa Yu with a big one to tie things back up and we've got a sprint to the finish here. That is two goals now on the day for Vanessa Yu. Kerr had a couple of chances at it, but there's Hong Kong China again. That's three straight draws to open up the quarter in favor of Hong Kong China. Wong. Will slow things down and can Hong Kong China retake the lead? Near side. Michelle Yu now, spins with space. Good stick there by the defender, Neil, to close off the shot. Pass in front, wide open. Hong Kong, China battles back, and it's Wong giving them the lead. 9-8. 4-3 with 
four straight for Hong Kong, China. They erased a two goal deficit and Ireland says, let's talk about it. They call timeout. 11 minutes to go. And another look at the Hong Kong China goal. Wong wide open. And just like that, Hong Kong China retakes their lead nine to eight. And you saw in that goal, it was Ward who got beat in a rare mistake from Rachel Ward defensively as she allowed Wong to have all the time in the world to get it past Gavin. She could have stopped and hit the brakes and no Irish defender was within yards of her. Look at Sarah Walsh as now she's got to circle the wagons here and say, all right, we've gone. We've gone punch to punch here, punch for punch here. We've got to battle back. Four straight goals for Hong Kong, China. Eleven oh four to go in the game. Timeout called by Ireland is they know they have to try to break the momentum of this Hong Kong, China squad. You have goals from Wong, Yu, and Wong here on this run for Hong Kong, China. It's a three goal run, excuse me, I've been saying four. But still a big one as Hong Kong, China has rebuilt their lead. We get set for the draw. And draws now have to be a area of concern for Ireland as Hong Kong China dominating in that category with 13 draw controls and Kerr has lost the last three. And I mean, again, it's not just the one player, it's the unit, but Wong is doing a great job against Kerr. And you see now they make the switch, does Ireland, going to their leader, Katrina Dowd. She has Ward and Kerr on the wings. The use on the wings for Hong Kong China. And another draw control. Kerr and Dowd collided, and that opened things up for Wong. You need a solid defensive stance here from Ireland. If you want to stay in it, Hong Kong China can really build the momentum with a goal here. They're on a three goal run. Here's Lamb. Far side out is Vanessa Yu. Boy. Pass, great pass inside and a goal. Oh my goodness, Vanessa Yu finishes off an excellent pass from Hoy. 10-8 Hong Kong, China. What a pass, take a look at this pass. This is as good as you'll see, Hoy. Tough angle, sidearm, puts it right on the money. Vanessa Yu catches it and dunks it home. That is an excellent pass from Hoy. All smiles on the Hong Kong China bench. It's 10-8, the lead's back to two. Ireland has yet to have an offensive possession in the fourth quarter. Margaret Egan had it in her stick, it pops out, and here is Hong Kong, China again. Vanessa Yu. <laughs> Vanessa Yu taking her time up top. Heisler following her. Loaded up on that left side of the goal is Hong Kong China's offense. And now they gather and are isoing behind. Yu starts forward, cuts to her left, gets around Heisler, in on goal, dribbler turned away. 
Ground ball picked up by Egan. She's got to go quick. Boy, right on her heels. Spins and throws back to Gavin. Somerville. And an aggressive ride here from Hong Kong, China will help burn some clock for Ireland as they need two goals to tie things back up. Neil, long pass up to Fatal. Morris in the corner, works it now behind. Every possession valuable now for Ireland. You've got to be quick, but you can't hurry. Crowd here at Johnny United Stadium really getting into it. Pass to Dowd. They'll ISO her behind the net. The entirety of the Ireland offense is outside that fan. Dowd and a whistle, a hold called on Hong Kong China. They'll give it to Neil for the free position. See what Neil decides to do. She hasn't taken a shot in this game and she'll pass out to Sonia e Egan. Morris. Back pedals towards the end line. Under seven minutes to go. Morris, far goal line extended, directing traffic. Gets it to Ward. Ward now switches places with Morris. Far goal line extended, behind the net to Margaret Egan. Egan, around the near side, stops. Pass in front, caught, shot! What a goal from Ward! Ireland pulls within one with a defender draped all over her. Rachel Ward scores. Another look, great pass again by Egan. Drifting around goal line extended and then way away drifting from the goal. Rachel Ward on the money. Bangs it in off the far post with a defender all over her. So in the water break now, Ireland trailing by one, 10 to nine. Ward, that is a hat trick now for her. So Kerr, Ward, and Dowd, the big goal scorers for Ireland, have all stepped up, each with three. And a big hat tip to Margaret Egan, five assists for her in the game as well. As Ireland refusing to go quietly, Trailing by one. Hong Kong China leads 10 to nine. They've erased a deficit to retake the lead as momentum has swung back and forth. Hong Kong China has done a great job putting runs together. They had a four goal run a moment ago, finally broken up by Ireland with the Rachel Ward goal. Right now, each team looking for maybe one final run. Ireland hoping to put together a few more goals so they can tie it up and retake the lead. Hong Kong, China trying to close the door on Ireland. And these water breaks, while yes, crucial for the teams to stay hydrated, even more crucial for the coaching staff here late in the game to stress how important each possession is going over strategy, trying to make adjustments, and then adjusting to the adjustments that the other team makes. A one goal game. Ireland with one timeout remaining. Hong Kong China has their full complimentary two. Take a look at the goalie performance so far today. You for Hong Kong China, 20 shots faced. She's made five saves. And for Gavin, Gavin, it's identical. 20 shots faced, five saves. Huge draw, they go back to Kerr, does Ireland. Long, 
was able to secure three draw controls against her. It's on the turf, down with the pickup. Down. Slows things down. Picked up by Chalk now. Dowd behind the net slowly. She has Margaret Egan, Egan, Egan there with her. But Dowd will keep it herself for the moment. Gives to Egan. Egan around the far side now. Reverses back. Egan's been the distributor. Dowd caught it, but too deep in the hole there. Didn't have an angle. Let's see what Ireland wants to do. They love those one-time shots. Dowd. Shoots low, sends it high, backed up by Egan. That was a rocket off the stick of Dowd. Under five to go. Egan in front, touch shot, Ward retired again! No! Wave it off! Wave it off! No goal, Ward was in the crease. A huge break for Hong Kong, China. The toughest of breaks for Ireland. Now if Hong Kong, China puts one in the back of the net here, it is gonna be real hard for Ireland to get back into this game. They would have to be lightning quick. Yu standing with it on the near side. Take a look in your lower left. You can see Ward gets that right foot in the crease as she let go of it. And that waves off the goal. Here's Hong Kong China. Shot, it's tipped, it rolls in! Oh my goodness! It was tipped. Wong, the goal scorer. It's 11 to nine, Hong Kong, China. Oh my. Ireland will call a timeout. The, the last 30 seconds couldn't have been more tough. Take another look. It got, t oh, I think it was Kerr. Wong shoots. Yeah, it caught hold of Kerr's stick and it just dribbles past Gavin. So rewind the last 30 seconds if you're Ireland. You think you have it tied up off a of Rachel Ward goal, but she's in the crease, wave it off, and then a deflected shot from your defender, your own teammate Kerr, redirects it past Gavin and it dribbles in. And now you're staring at a two goal deficit for Ireland, 11 to nine. Hong Kong, China, rallying. They won't go away. This team is too good. I mean, again, Ireland has fought back with them. Ireland, the 13 seed here. Hong Kong, China, the 18 seed. So this would be a huge win. I know we've been talking about how they're undefeated and they've been blowing everyone out, but this is this is a tough game against a, a higher-seeded Ireland team. And right now, Hong Kong, China answering the bell as they are up two goals, refusing to go away. The draw controls have been huge. I mean, that one that Dowd had a moment ago, that was the only draw control that Ireland has had here in this quarter. Hong Kong, China ripped off three straight and they all resulted in goals. Just under three and a half minutes to go. Ireland needs some magic. And Hong Kong, China just needs to keep playing this tough defense. And honestly, if they keep winning the draws, they might not have to play much defense at all. One more day of pool play remains. If Hong Kong, China were to win, they would all but be assured 
in advance. There is still the goal differential route for Ireland, but with a plus 24 goal differential or whatever it is right now for Hong Kong, China, Hong Kong, China would need to get blown out by New Zealand and Ireland would have to blow out Austria if they had any chance to advance. Dow the draw control. Lob up to Ward. You don't have time to waste now if you're Ireland. Kerr was streaking down the middle on Mark. Ward didn't see her. Quickly behind the Morris. Won it in the stick, and there it is of Margaret Egan. Again, five assists for her. She's been the distributor, although trouble picking it up at the moment. Pass in front. Dowd caught it again too deep in the hole, couldn't get a shot off. Spins back towards the goal. She's just trying to shake loose. Back over to Egan. Egan, pass, Kerr, down the middle, shoots and scores! Ireland within one, they're not done yet! 2.40 to go. It's 11-10, Hong Kong, China. And now another timeout, take another look. Good job by Ireland to stick with it. Egan to Kerr, beat her defender and scores it wide open. Hong Kong, China has called timeout. And if you're Kerr, that's gotta feel a little bittersweet, because if you don't, have that deflection, that goal just tied it up, but you do at least pull I yourselves back within one goal with two and a half minutes. That's plenty of time for Ireland, but it's also plenty of time for Hong Kong, China to go back up too. So what do you do now if you're Ireland? Well, you gotta win the draw. You just got a big one there from Dowd. And you gotta be deliberate, you gotta be patient. Don't hurry, don't throw anything silly away, and if you're Hong Kong, China, get back on that draw control. You've dominated on the draw controls, and I would start to run some clock if you're Hong Kong, China. Just be careful with your passing, get one more goal and make it hard, and just kind of keep Ireland in a treading water situation where they can't rebuild their lead or get back even with you. I think if you're Ireland right now, you gotta control the emotions, and I think for both sidelines, that's true. Control your emotion. Don't let the moment get away from you and don't do something that you're gonna regret. Cleo Kerr, her goal has pulled Ireland back within one. Ireland is out of timeouts. Hong Kong, China has one remaining. Huge draw coming. Long, Kerr gets set. Ward and Dowd on the wings. Lee and Yu for Hong Kong, China on the wings. Falls up. Down on the turf, Kerr falls. Wong with the pickup. Wong down the near sideline. Heisler with the push. Ireland. Needs a turnover here. Can't let Hong Kong China run the clock. Heisler quickly to Wong, she's gonna play her tight. No more standing for Hong Kong, China. Ireland's gonna make a move. Wong spins. Works out of the backside. Wants to get rid of it. Falls out, Wong gets it right back. 90 seconds to go. Falls out! Picked up by Ward, and she's fouled. A huge possession coming now for Ireland. Popped out of the stick of Yu, and then she commits the foul. Gives it out over to Margaret Egan. Now to Somerville. Approaching one minute to go. 
Throw across the field to Neal. Neal cuts inside. Back centered to Egan. Egan fakes, drives. One minute to play. Kerr in front, couldn't handle it. It's in the crease. Tough pass from Margaret Egan. It was low, Kerr couldn't get her stick on it. 50 seconds, Yu, the goalkeeper, way out of her crease. She's been playing out of there quite a bit today. And she's just gonna run around and make someone come get her. Take another look in the lower left. Kerr just couldn't reel it in. Dowd now on the heels of Yu. 30 seconds to go. Ireland needs the ball. Dowd chopping away at the stick of Yu. Yu still with it. 24 seconds. Dowd releases the ball, it's out. It's out. Ireland ball. And Yu has to go out behind Dowd. Empty net with 18 seconds. Yu's gonna have to sprint dead for the goal. Dowd, pass to Morris. 15 seconds. Pass in front. Foul called, Kerr knocked to the ground with 10 seconds to go. This will be the game for Ireland. Free position coming from Kerr. Both the goalie, you, and the defender. Say on the ground, neither have gotten up and this is real bad for Hong Kong, China. If your goalkeeper, you, is hurt, and not getting, and she's gonna have to come out because the trainers are being told to come onto the field. And if the trainer has to come out, I believe that means the player has to come out. And so now your backup goalie for Hong Kong, China, Liu has to come into the game in the biggest moment. And taking a look here, again, you have Say walking off. Oh, no, they're going to allow you to, st or you to stay in the game. OK, so here we are. Kerr, free position, looking in at you. 10 seconds. Kerr, in on goal, shoots, scores for tied! in Ireland, they rally back. 11-11, with six seconds to go. Kerr, redemption, she's the one who tipped in the own goal. And now she has two goals straight to tie things up for Ireland. With six seconds remaining. And you gotta give big taps to Katrina Dowd when the goalkeeper for Hong Kong, China, Yu, was running around. We'll take a quick look first at the free position goal. There it is, Kerr tying it up, going low corner, straight down the middle. Yu read it right too, just couldn't get to it. But again, Dowd was huge. She pursued Yu till the ends of the field. She wasn't letting Yu get away. She chopped and chopped and chopped, finally dislodged the ball on the far sideline, and then you tried to just hold it and they called her. And then you had a scramble situation because you was out behind on the restart. And then there was just a, you had to foul if you're Hong Kong China and just hope that the free position is missed. Six seconds. Six seconds to go. What both teams need to guard against is a quick draw control and a sprint down the field. And they do make the switch at goalie for Hong Kong China. This is Liu now. So now precarious situation. And you see on the sidelines, Yu not happy. I think she probably wanted to stay in the game. 
I don't know many goalies who want to come out. Huge draw. Kerr and Wong. Ball's down, rolling towards the far sideline. Dowd will take a last second shot. And Liu will look it in, and we are headed to overtime. How else should this game end? 11, 11. Ireland, Hong Kong, China. We're looking for a golden goal. The 2022 World Lacrosse Women's Championship continues on this side on ESPN. Welcome back to the 2022 World Lacrosse Women's Championship here on ESPN. And an exciting game, only fitting it ends in overtime. This game will likely to send someone into the championship bracket. Here are your overtime rules. We're looking for a golden goal, sudden victory. They'll play eight minutes total to four minute halves of stop clock play. If no one scores at the end of eight minutes, we'll do it again with two four minute halves. Each team is given just one time out for all of overtime. So again, golden goal situation, win, most likely you advance, lose, you're gonna be fighting real hard to try to overtake the team you're currently playing to get into the championship bracket. Let's recap how we've gotten here. It has been a back and forth affair all morning long. At times it looked like Ireland might maybe run away with it, and then Hong Kong China battles back and builds up a lead, and then with the late stages, it looked like Hong Kong, China had it wrapped up, and then Katrina Dowd in Ireland refused to quit. They get a late turnover with just seconds remaining, and then a free position for Cleo Kerr sends it to overtime 11-11. Now, interesting to note, Hong Kong, China has made the switch, or they at least did make the switch in goal at the end of the fourth quarter. And there is, we'll see, there is a look at Yu, who has been the goalie for the entire game, and she's standing helmet off. So we'll probably see Li Yu, the goalie for Hong Kong China, the rest of the way. Now, Yu was hurt before that free position shot, but stayed in the game, so she could be an injury situation. But either way, you have a cold goalie coming in for Hong Kong China. Draw controls are huge. That has been favorable for Hong Kong, China. Although lately, Ireland has put some pressure there. But each goal, or each team looking for that one goal now, one possession could do it. Getting set for the draw. Wong, Kerr, they've been battling all day. Ball's up. Loose. Still loose. Race for it. Dowd's got it. And now you've got time to set up what you want. Oh my, and this is not what Hong Kong China needed. A yellow card against Michelle Wu Yu as she 
caught Neal across the face. Ireland, for the third time today, goes a woman up. Now in overtime, they have, oh, bad pass. Margaret Egan has to shuffle to it and luckily gets it back. Dowd. Near goal line extended is Dowd. Michelle Yu, that was her second yellow card, so she is done for the game. They will get to go back to even strength if they kill it off, but Michelle Yu's day is over. Margaret Egan, pass, Kerr, one time, it's a goal! Kerr! The winner, Cleo Kerr! They're checking the stick. It's a good goal. Ireland picks up a huge victory. 12-11 our final in overtime. Cleo Kerr, who at moments might have felt like she let everyone down, rallies. She scores the game tire, and now she scores the game winner in overtime. Ireland picks up a huge win to knock Hong Kong China down. Hong Kong China still has a path. They must beat undefeated New Zealand though, and they can't let Ireland blow out Austria, but that's out of Hong Kong China's hands. Ireland holds their destiny in their own hands now. What a game, what a finish for Ireland. Let's take a look. Margaret Egan, who else for the assist? Finds Kerr and tucks it in under the crossbar. You can see the emotion on Kerr's face as she dives and celebrates in a dog pile situation for Ireland, and you know they felt it. A huge game. Next up for Hong Kong, China. At 9 a.m. on Monday, they will face off with New Zealand. And at 12 p.m. on Monday, Ireland will take on Austria. Again, our final 12-11, Ireland in overtime. And one more look, Ireland the winners. Our coverage continues on ESPN Plus, the 2022 Women's World Lacrosse Championship. Ireland, winners over Hong Kong, China, here on ESPN.